Hi, I'm Beth from Hanson's Garden Village and I'm gonna show you guys how we uh, stratify and sow our native seeds. So a lot of our seeds we collect ourselves off of our plants, um, potted and um, in our gardens. Otherwise, whatever we can't supply ourselves, we get from Prairie Moon Nursery. So I'm gonna show you how we stratify our seeds. Um, these are from Prairie Moon Nursery. Um, they're Desmodium canadensis showy tick trefoil. These actually don't need to be a stratified seed. They have different codes that come with them and we also use their um, tried and true kind of like native seed uh, database on what people have had the most success with in terms of stratifying. Stratifying is basically like a false winter that we're creating for these seeds because they're not outside overwintering on the ground and coming up naturally in the spring. Um, we get these uh, wet, moist, and in with a germinating mix and we put them in the fridge for 30 to 90 to sometimes 120 days. Most are 30 to 60 days. I'm going to demonstrate on this, but this type of plant doesn't need to go into the fridge. It's a it's a dry, straight stratifying, uh, just plant it, sow it uh, straight into a seed tray. But what I would do is if I was stratifying, we write the name of the plant, the Latin name, the code, and the date, and when we're doing all this. And then we, I just use regular sandwich bags, and then I come over here. We have germination soil, which is a light, very light planting mix. I put a little bit in there depending on how much seed I have. And then um, I open my seed packet and I'm just gonna put a little bit in there. And then this is a plant that needs an inoculant. Um, so we also have some inoculant purchased from them. It's just a little additive that's going to really help those seeds break break out of the dormancy. And then what I do is I add some water. I'm wanting the, the um, germination mix to be moist but not overly saturated where I can totally squeeze out like a bunch of water. So that's like a good amount. And then for example, if this was like a 30 day stratific, I mix it all in there. So there's inoculant and seeds and everything. And then I would close it up and I would stick it in our fridge for however many days that we'd need it. Um, so these ones are gonna be direct sewn actually into a thing, which we'll show you next. All right, so now we're going to sow our stratified seeds. The ones we're doing today are 60 days, so they've been in the fridge for 60 days. Um, we had them, we stratified them in January, so it's March 11th today. And um, they're all ready to go. This is Carex lacustris, which is uh, lake sedge. So this is gonna be a sedge or like a grassy type plant. So uh, we fill our seed tray with a little bit of soil, germination mix again. We write our tag so we know what variety it is. Uh, we have it nice and even, no, no big chunks of soil. We spread them out even. We water it a little bit to get it all situated. And then we have our seeds. So I dump the bag on there. And then I'm gonna spread them out, try to do it evenly and you gently push it into the, the plain germination mix that was underneath. And then certain seeds um, prefer either soil on top or not soil on top. Um, this one prefers a little bit of a covering to get started. So I'm putting a little bit of light soil on there. And then what we'll be doing is watering it in and you wanna do it gently so you're not washing seeds out of the tray. And then what we do is cover it with a plastic. We use a clear plastic to do this and we'll be doing it for this whole thing. And then we just tuck it in there. Um, what's nice about our propagation house that's a little more professional than what people would be doing at home 
We have um, heat tubes which have hot water running through them. So that really helps the seeds uh, break out and start growing. And, um, and then obviously a really nice warm greenhouse. Uh, so sometimes on really hot days, um, we don't want the seed trays to cook. We we'll might cover it with some frost cloth, like today's an extra sunny day. Nothing's up yet, so we'd probably just let it be. Um, different native seeds need different special things different times. Um, some require a hot boiling water treatment, and that is um, doing like a false uh, process where the seeds would actually pass through an animal's digestive system. And those native seeds require that in order to germinate. Some need it to be cooler outside, so um, we'll start those in a cool greenhouse and not on the heat tubes. Um, and there's just lots of really neat uh, native plants. Uh, we specialize in native plants out here. Um, some uh, we don't start from seed, some we have to do from bare root. Um, a lot of ferns and like the native spring ephemerals like trilliums and Virginia bluebells get started from bare root plants and those we purchase in from native uh, bare root uh, suppliers, uh, which is nice because it would be a lot more work to also have all these beds that we would have to take care of and then harvest and keep planting and so it's that's a great shortcut for us um, and this is just starting the native plants uh, they're great for pollinators they're great for our local ecosystems uh, you can't go wrong with native plants we have three greenhouses full and we offer huge selection uh, and you can see more on our website at hansonsgardenvillage.com and then these are 30 day seeds that we stratified a little bit earlier. So they've been growing for two weeks. Um, and you can see some of the issues with not knowing what's gonna pop up. So we have some butterfly weed that got overseeded. So as soon as it's safe, we'll try to separate it out nicely. Um, and then we have verbena hostata, that's blue vervain. We have uh, wild basil. We have agastache, which um, uh, the bees really love that one. It's a really pretty purple flower. Joe pie weed, which is more of a wetland. Um, we have more Asclepius milkweeds. Uh, Landsleaf coreopsis is a really common one. We have some Rudbeckias, which are black eyed Susans. Yarrow. Uh, so those are just a few that we have started. Uh, we start transplanting these into our two and a half inch pots, which I can show you over here, um, once they have two leaf nodes. So we'll water, we, we get these pre-filled um, by Sioux Growing Supply in Wausau, which is great. They do a lot of the work for us. So we get pallets of the pre-filled pots. We'll water these in and then we'll have planting stations and we'll have our, our employees um, taking one little plant in each pot and planting them and then we'll line them up in here once they're grown enough or it's wherever they're getting landed is a good condition for them to get taken to we'll move them out so all spring summer into fall we're always growing in this propagation house mostly natives and some ornamental perennials like ground covers like lamium uh, we do from cuttings and we get things out um, and then we sell them so we supply to a lot of counties and different plant sales. Um, and this is our, we don't have our mist going yet, but this is where we do our cuttings. So that will be going soon. And we can do another video on that too. So thank you.